you know, when I wake up in the morning and, you know, pick up my board, the first thing that comes to my mind is how actually limitless skateboarding is. It brings out the best in me. Skateboarding for me was like an outlet. You know, I'm just so grateful to, you know, be able to come back to that, you know, that energy every single day and explore, you know, this limitless thing every single day. It's a blessing, definitely. I always say this, there's no place like Cape Town, definitely. My name is Jean-Marc Johannes, I'm from Cape Town, South Africa, and I'm a professional skateboarder. Growing up in Cape Town and South Africa is, is different. Um, you know, it's rich in culture and, you know, especially, you know, coming from where I come from in Athlone, um, you know, doing skate, like, doing something like skateboarding that's not you know the normal sport you know you kind of find it not just you don't just use it as a as a it's not just a sport it's like an outlet you know um, it's a way of it's more than sport it's like an art form it's public transport I was born um, asthmatic and basically they told me not to partake in sport um, I was spent a lot of time in hospital uh, when I was born and you know right up until I would say nine or ten years old um, just all my life just in and out of hospitals um, just see, treating it uh, was really really bad like I couldn't run like two minutes and it's you know I have to I have to stop uh, my entire family were athletes everyone from my grandfather you know to my parents um, to my siblings, everyone was athletes, but I was the complete opposite. Definitely the least likely to <laughs> to actually pursue, you know, anything that involved athleticism. Um, my goal was just to be part of sport in some way, but I knew that, you know, what was holding me back was, was you know, me obviously being sick. When I found skateboarding was definitely different. I remember I was just looking for things um, to keep myself busy in the house and I was in the, in the garage uh, just looking at old stuff and I found an old skateboard um, and I was pushing around like in the garage and it was so fun and I wasn't feeling the same kind of um, I would say like exhaustion I would normally feel uh, because I could stop at any time I could just you know didn't need to push there was no like um, there was no finish line you know for me to, to go for I could just decide on my own one so I think that you know it was helping me mentally more than physically at the time eventually I got used to riding the skateboard um, and I started riding it outside in the road and then eventually I started riding it to school um, and then I had the skateboard with me at school there were other skaters at the school definitely um, I knew what it was I just Again, it was just a matter of like, I, I, I just associated with sport and that was playing on my mind. Um, but they were so welcoming. It was really different. You know, there was no like competition or anything like that. It was just welcoming because they would skate at a spot after school. Um, and I would just go there and watch because I didn't know how to do anything. Um, but it was just nice to kind of feel that, you know, that, that family kind of environment in, in, in a and an activity. For people living here, the Cape Flats is a war zone. Turf battles between feuding gangs means hundreds of lives are lost every year. Starting in, in, in you know, like the Cape Flats area, there's, there was no skate parks, there's nothing. I was like the only skateboarder I knew in the area for like, all my life. Definitely there was the, the aspect of, you know, what, was, what you were surrounded by on a daily basis. Um, but I think, you know, just from that, from where I started and being surrounded, like, and seeing that on a daily basis um, made me, you know, want to, you know, see something come from what I'm doing and push so much harder. Skateboarding for me was like an outlet. It was a positive, you know, thing to be involved in, you know, despite of, you know, what I was seeing 
um, and hearing every single day. I mean, there were people that I s started skating with um, that went down a, you know, a bad a bad path. Skateboarding, you know, built resilience in me. Um, it made me fight, not just for something, you know, out of skateboarding, but, you know, fight for a stronger version of, of myself. I don't think I would have had it any other way, you know, to kind of understand and appreciate what I was born with and work for it a hundred times harder. I don't think I would have had asked for it any other way, definitely. All right, your last rider coming out of Cape Town, South Africa, you got from my man, Sean Mark I think a lot of people, you know, they, they obviously seen, they, they watched the contest, they know what happened, um, but I think the story behind before that happened um, is really what made me win. At the time, I was really struggling in terms of sponsorship, like I was paying everything myself. But not just that, so like when I started skateboarding, like my, my, my grandparents, my grandmother, you know, super motivated me in skateboarding to keep pushing and uh, she was diagnosed with cancer. I don't know what's gonna happen now, you know, I just wanna kind of be here. And I was thinking, you know, maybe let's not go to the vice contest because you don't, I don't know what's gonna happen, every day's been different. I knew that, I mean, I've always wanted to, you know, be, be on a podium in an in a international contest. Like, I knew, like, it was possible, you know, from a spent, no one, like, from Cape Town, I was just thinking, you know, I can do this coming from, from Cape Town. I'm watching this all my life, it's possible. Um, and it's never happened, you know, let's try and make it happen. And then, running up to it, I got so demotivated because of what was happening in my life, and then, just before, I mean, the, like I would say a few months before, um, my grandmother passed away. But before that, she told me to go to the contest. But I was literally saying, no, I'm not going. No, this is not going to happen. And then I thought to myself, you know what? Like, I'm going to go. I'm going to go because, you know, I think, like, I definitely, you know, owed it to her to do that, for sure. And I went to the contest. No sponsors, like last board, last footwear, everything. And the first day qualifications, there were so many skateboarders in the contest. Um, qualification, um, I ranked first. And then I didn't even think about, I didn't even look at the list, I didn't look at anything. I just, every single day, I just went in and just went until I couldn't walk anymore. That was definitely not my strength on the day. I know, like, I know my, my, my limit. Like even then, like I'm not, I'm not saying like, like Ashman doesn't affect me at all. It affects me every single day of my life. But that day I was like, not myself at all. Uh, mentally, physically, if I look back at the run, um, like even after the contest, I don't even remember what I did. He's going to attempt to see how many gnarly hills he can do for the Guinness World Record. I would have like Thrasher magazines and stuff like that, but in the school library, there was a Guinness Book of Records that I literally took out every single week. And then, you know, years down the line, after all of that, when I started to like really believe in myself after all the contests, then I started to think about, well, what else have I doubted? What else have I like said no to just because it was in my mind? Um, and one of it was the world records and I thought, you know what, I know it, it seems impossible, it used to seem impossible, but I can say the same thing for the world series, I can say the same thing for everything else right now. I got invited to uh, represent um, South Africa at the first Olympic qualifier and that already was, was such a, a, a historic moment for me and I felt so honored to just like have an Olympic rank you know, for the first time in, in my life, for the first time as a skateboarder from Cape Town, you know, going to that contest and going, well, you know, this is actually, we're actually are competing at an Olympic level right now. You know, this is not, this is different. This is very, very different. My, my advice and what I want skateboarders and kids to see is that you can bring it to life. You can bring everything to life. 
you know, that really doesn't matter where you are right now. Like, if you want to learn a trick, you want to get somewhere in, you know, in any kind of, let's say, not just sport, but anything in life, you can do it, you can bring it to life, you know, it's, it's, it's all in you to do it.